Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. And today is some sort of thumping Thursday here at Norman's. <laughs> uh, but we do have a really cool guitar. There's not many of these, and they're kind of newer. An older design, but something new that they kind of uh, finally uh, made it come to life. But this is a really cool guitar. So let's check it out. This is a used guitar, but fairly new in terms of years. It's, it's got to be in the last two years. This is a Gibson Theodore. Ooh. Very interesting guitar. This one's in black, um, but a really cool guitar. Solid body. <clears throat> One thing that I really like is it's got that banana headstock that you'd see on like a Explorer or kind of like similar to the Kramer stuff that I think Gibson even owns Kramer now. But um, it's a two-piece alder body uh, with a walnut center stripe. Um, really kind of cool looking actually um, with a mahogany neck. Um, now this neck is a fatter profile. It's like a chunky like 57 C neck. So like a 57 gold top or something kind of like that a little fatter um, with an Indian rosewood fretboard uh, with the pearl dot inlays uh, really nice frets on this thing uh, they're th they're thin but they got a lot of life to them as they should um, 22 frets with a 24.75 scale length and then you got that wrap around bridge um, which gives it that kind of mean sound it's got those two really cool soap bar p90 single coil pickups um, but man they were really warm sounding guitar um, and yeah, it's got a unique sound, especially both pickups together, really unique. Um, but this was designed by Ted McCarty in the late 1950s. I think they even say on the certificate, it's kind of a cool case too. It comes with a, um, the guitar strap and stuff, but look at how that body just fits right in there. It's really kind of that tulip shape that you'd see on some Rickenbackers, but, um, <clears throat> here it is. So they only made 318. 318 of this guitar. This one, I believe, is 312. Um, and it says, the guitar bearing the serial number above, one of only 318 total made by Gibson Custom Shop, was imagined by Gibson's legendary former president and innovator, Theodore Ted McCarty, on March 18, 1957. Though it was never produced until now, Ted's drawing represents a turning point in Gibson guitar history, and the, re and the resulting instrument is a testament to his vision and prolific output. Well, really cool guitar. Um, I know it's definitely something different, um, but man, it does sound good. It plays really great. It's just a really cool instrument, so don't be scared of something different. That's what got me into the Jazz Master. So, really cool, something different. Let's take it out front, see what we can do. Let's go. Woo, woo. All right, we're out front with the Gibson Theodore Tulip in black. Really cool guitar. Um, definitely some different things going on. You got that banana headstock and kind of a thicker neck profile, um, but really cool sounding. We're also going through a, kind of like a Fender Deluxe, but a modern one. Um, yeah, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get. mellow sound coming out of these P90s. Uh, we're going to mix up both pickups together and see what we get. 
Really cool. Let's go to uh, bridge. See what we get. We're gonna turn up a little bit of the distortion and play uh, a stroke song. Let's check it out. <laughs> Really cool guitar. It's got that tulip shape and a banana headstock. Um, something different, and there's not many of them. Uh, so check them all out at normansdragguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. Cool. Cool.